is Mtwana Wabantu. Sometimes you can call me Hamish or Mtwana Wabantu. Okay, now let's get started. We have some questions here. Let's get started. So, after a few minutes, you're going to be able to solve. Uh, let me show you the question that we're going to be going through. This question right here that you see. Also, going to be able to solve this question right here. So, let me start first with that. And then also, we're going to be able to solve this question right here. Okay, now let's get started. So, um, please leave a comment. It's very, very important. Also, visit our other social media. You can see what we do for the community. We have a giving back program and feeding program. And it, not only feeding, because feeding is not enough. You can feed somebody today and tomorrow is going to want some more. So, we quit, uh, uh, you know, community, especially like people who are disadvantaged with the skills like coding skills, mathematics skills, critical thinking, and the entrepreneurship mindset so our brother and sister can be independent, okay? With the skills that we have because mindset and skills is everything, okay? So people can become independent and stop going, knock doors every day back for job. Like, oh, I need a job, there's no job. Okay, now let's get started. This has nothing to do with that. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, let me start with another question face. Uh, I can start with this, okay. I can start with this. Ah, let me start with that one. I think I prefer to start with that one. It's the same thing, but let me start with this one, okay. So we have a question right here. Let's say, um, a certain number, so we don't know that number. Let's say X. Is subtracted means you minus, is subtract from, means we had 8 and then we subtract on X. Number, let me say it here, look. A number x or a certain number is subtracted means we minus that number from from that you see and then what did i say here and then after that will be equal means equal to two less than oh so two less means we minus two from two less than four times the same number means four times the same number means four x when you see, you understand what I'm saying? That's how you do. So now they say which equation is going to be equivalent to that. So now we come and look around here. We say which is going to be exactly eight minus x two minus x. Uh, so this cannot. This cannot, of course. So either this or that. Now let's see. Uh, this one cannot. So is this. So then our option for this case is option number three. Now let's go for the next one. Okay. So what I'll do face. I'll just erase here and move my page up a little. Bit. Is that a tracing? That is tracing and it is a question. Okay, so now let's go and move this page up a little bit. Okay, I hope you can see it right there. Oh, uh, no, not more. A little more up. Okay, now let's see. I'm sorry. Yes, question number two. So question number two, uh, let's see which approach we can do. And leave a comment, my familiar, right? You are my familiar, so always leave a comment to... So I can see I have my familiar who want me to continue to make this type of video. The correct expression, my beautiful family, if somebody say thrice of a number means it could be three times a number. Twice of a number means three times a number means you don't know that number, so three X. If somebody say twice of a number means you say two times that number, but we don't know that number. That number can be Y, can be X, can be A. You see what I'm saying? So this is twice. Twice means multiply by two but when you say thrice means multiplied by three somebody say three of a number means three of a number number can be any can be a can be x anything now let's get to the question the correct expression uh for a number which is twice so we don't know that number twice of what twice as big as the number obtained after p has been divided by three after p has divided by three and then what we do we twice that that's what multiplied by two so that's going to give us all two p over three and this is going to be our option option number one okay so for that being said we're done with that question let's go to the next question that i'm tracing so they give us that oh my god so this is easy so what you do uh we want to look all of these calculate not only looking and then we have to pick which one is true okay let's start with the first one so in in, in in fraction so now they give a fraction but in a letter if somebody give for example uh let's say a over t minus c over t even if it's plus what you do if it's plus or minus if base are the same only when the base are similar only you write only one base 
and then you say you write exactly here a minus c but this is only you do when it's a plus or minus so even if it was plus here then now let's go do the same thing let's say k over b plus let's say f over b you see base are the same so only i'm going to write only one base and there's a k plus f now what if is different just like how we see in this case for question number one how i'm going to go about it now it's different base oh okay so you see here the base are not the same means you have a over b a over b and you've got minus c over d so the trick is to make base the same or similar so what i'm gonna do there's a lot of ways i can do this either so okay well so which base has to be the same the same base must be b and d so to make base the same b and d look here means this i will multiply this by b so it's going to be multiplied this by b because it has to be b d but whatever you're going to do at the denominator you must do the same thing at the numerator and now this is b d now and this must be b d so it's only b so I must multiply by d and here on top and bottom so here you see the base now is b d is the same so top is going to be a d and there's a minus c d and i can write only uh one denominator b d you see what i'm saying that's how you get and you can see this is correct a d a d minus c b minus c no 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 it's not true no 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 i'm wrong i'm the one who's wrong here my problem this must be b here, my problem because look b b b b so this must be b. My apologies. i'm sorry right so a d a d is true minus c b minus c b b d b d yes it's true so the first option is true or oh, if i don't want to solve like that look there's another way that i could have solved i could have said look i could have said like this look uh, it's a uh, if i don't want to use like that so okay we have a over b and then minus c over d right minus c over d i could have simply cross multiplication so okay you cross that one with that one faced you must go that one so say a d and then minus minus and then you multiply that one b times c b c or c b and this can be b d you multiply this two b d any the same answer because look a d a d minus c b minus c b the c b here right over b d over b d so the same thing is true so either way is going to give the same answer now let's go for the question number two for the option two we want to see if it's true it's not true so the phase one is true now let's go for this one here a b a b plus c d so let's cross i think cross is more easy right so we're going to cross that way a times d equal to a d plus plus now you go b times c it's going to be b c over b times d b d now let's see if it's correct it's not correct okay no it's not correct because you see here they i don't know what did they do here just funny things not true so let's go to the last one so for the last one now that's a division so division what you do uh very easily very tricy so you don't you don't find the common denominator for division okay so we have a b divide by cd so it's division what you do you want to make modification so um, the first one don't do anything right away how it is these are rules my beautiful family so you follow these rules you memorize you memorize your follow and then you change this to multiplication you make a modification then you flip this the top is going to become at the bottom and the bottom is going to go to the top that's how you do it. you see what i'm saying so what you do then you multiply a times d equal to a d and then you over b times c b c so the top is going to be a d which is true a times d yes and the bottom b times c B times c because even if there's no sign means there's a multiplication in between even though there's no sign so c is true so a and c are true means a and c are true so now let's come to the option here a and c are correct so if you can come here we know a and c are correct now let's go to the next question so the next question they say uh 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 we have to write from least to the greatest sometimes they say in ascending not all the time they're going to say least ascending order means ascend you know to ascend means to increase means from smaller to bigger but a descending means from bigger so memorize this word right? bigger to smaller that's it descending but for this case here they did not use that mathematical terms but you have to be aware of those mathematical terms ascending order descending order okay 
You put them in here. What I say, keeping your mind, you keeping your mind right down, okay? Then you practice. Now they say, we have a 10, this, this. Now they say, the right from the least to the greatest means you have to start from smaller to the bigger, okay? So what I can do, me personally, I'm going to change all of these to the decimal. Change everything uh, to decimal. So uh, 3 over 4 means 0 0.75 and 2 over 5. Okay, how many? Uh, 2 over 5 is 0 0.4, but you can change a lot, right? I want to change all of this. Uh, 7 over 10, uh, 7 over 10, 7 over 10, 7 divided by 10, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. Let's say we, ha we have to arrange from what? So this is the original one, right? But I just changed everything to this. Let's say we have to arrange from what from? Least to great, means smallest to great. Look, which is too smaller here? 0 0.4. 0 0.7, 0 0.5. The smallest one is going to be this because 0 0.4. So we're going to start with 0 0.4, and then the next is going to be uh, 0 0.5, and the next is going to be 0 0.7, and then the next is going to be 0 0.75. Now let's write as a fraction because what is 0 0.4? 0 0.4 is this one. So we start with what with 2 over 5. What is 0 0.5? 0 0.5. It comes from the last number. Remember, because this is the number that I took at first, we change everything. So it's going to be what? It's going to be 1 over 2. What is 0 0.7 come from? 0 0.7 come from the third one, which is 7 over 10. And the last one is 0 0.75. Where does 0 0.75 comes from? Uh, 0 0.75, it comes from the first one, which is 3 over 3 over 4. So now, 3 over 4. So now, let's come and see which is this one right here. 3 over 4, 3 over 4, only this one, 3 over 4. 7 over 10, 7 over 10, and then 1 over 2, 1 over 2. Three. So option number 2 is the correct answer. Let me use another color. So for that being said, man, my name is Matwana, and for that being said, I don't want to waste a lot of time. Peace, and I'm going to see you very soon. Share this video. Peace, and I'm out.